Unfortunately, Yannick Sinner has pulled out of the Rome Masters and it's not great because it is his home tournament. He was looking at that tournament as if it was a Grand Slam. He really wanted to win it. He really wanted to play well in front of his home crowd. And it's quite devastating that he's not going to be able to play. Due to that hip injury on Twitter, he has said, translated from Italian, it is not easy to write this message. But after speaking again with the doctors and specialists about my hip problem, I have to announce that unfortunately, I will not be able to play in Rome. Obviously, I'm very sad that I didn't recover. It being one of my favorite tournaments ever, I couldn't wait to come back and play at home in front of the Italian crowd. Heartbreak emoji, Italian emoji. I will still come to Rome for a few days and stop by La Forca Italico. Thank you for the messages of support, which I appreciate very much. Now I will work with my team and doctors to be ready for Roland Garros. See you soon. So he will stop by in Rome. And that's a good sign, keeping the positive spirits among the crowd, among the players. And what can you say? I hope he's there, but it looks like he's not going to be the only player now. Carlos Alcaraz, joining Carlos Alcaraz on the withdrawal list for the Rome Masters. Could be followed by Lehechka, Medvedev, Jakub Benchik. Bit of a random one. Perhaps Nadal might pull out last second. You never know. I doubt it. A few injured players that are of significant importance and the tennis letter reporting here or talking about the withdrawal really terrible news he's been the best player in the world this season he has and it's also going to make a big impact for his world number one to Yolita here who is a bit of an expert in mathematically calculating Djokovic's number one prospects and in this case Djokovic cannot lose the number one ranking for at least until June 10 2024 that means Djokovic will be 428 weeks as number one guaranteed at the very least and that probably will grow as long as he plays half decently. It's amazing how Djokovic is able to keep number one halfway into 2024. That just proves how good his 2023 season was and you know what? He also has some what decent results. Semi-final with the Colors, semi-final Australian Open, a couple wins in the United Cup but you know what? Given how poorly Djokovic has played in comparison to last year, if he's able to get a groove on right now, he might keep number one for a while yet. And that's one of Sinner's goals for 2024 was to be number one. And he still has a very good chance. But we'll see. Someone's saying here that perhaps Djokovic will end up on 428. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'll say even if he doesn't win Roland Garros, I think he can extend it. Especially since he didn't win Wimbledon and he can win Wimbledon this year. He'll be the favourite regardless of form going into Wimbledon. Djokovic. And Jose Molgardo saying here, Oh my, Yannick Sinner, like Carlos Alcaraz, is out of Rome. Defending champion Daniil Medvedev is also doubtful. It's not great for the tournament. It's almost become this clay season a bit of just peaking. Everyone's trying to peak for Roland Garros and they're trying to take a leaf out of Djokovic's book. But this year, Djokovic is still one year, one year, one step ahead in that he's the one that actually is not injured. And he, in my opinion, will peak for Roland Garros as he did last season. And of course, this is not the end of the clay season. Of course, you have the Olympics and players are looking forward to this really congested, important part of the calendar in which they'll be in which there'll be three Grand Slams and the Olympic Games played all within, what, two months or so? Three months, including US Open? It's crazy. We talked about in the previous video about potential impacts of changing of balls and the injuries on the players. In Sinner's case, it seems to be a bit of a hip issue. So perhaps it's more of a physical issue for Sinner. Can't really blame anyone in that case, perhaps. But I hope he can work through the issues with his docs and his team. And we hope to see him out there in Paris. Until next time.